Hello friends, welcome to another C++ interview question and the question is what is segmentation fault and how to debug that. So the segmentation fault is nothing but the memory related problems like you are going to access some memory which is you are not allowed to access. Okay, so these are the examples of that like stake overflow. This is not the violation actually, but you are asking some extra memory which your CPU doesn't have. Okay, so in that case the segmentation fault comes. You are going to write somewhere which you are not allowed to write, okay? So that time segmentation call comes and you are going to read from some location from where you are not allowed to read, okay? So at that time also this segmentation call comes. So this is a typical example here. We are going to assign this null into this integer pointer. And uh, if you will assign this 10, that means you are going to dereference this null here, okay? So that is a segmentation fault. So I will show you the example how it looks like when it runs. Now we'll just simply compile this. So its name is app.cpp. So we'll run this. It will tell segmentation fault. Okay. So your program always tell that you have segmentation fault, but it never tells where it is. Okay. So let's suppose you are having thousands and uh, thousands of lines of your code. You might end up checking each and every line by debugging that where it is getting this segmentation fault. And sometimes it is input dependent. Like sometimes if it is a random, then you really struggle so much to find that. So there is a solution for that. We can just simply use the GDB. I will explain how to use GDB in one of my previous videos. So if you don't know how to use GDB, you can go and check that video. Okay. So if you will do this LS, your code dumped file, this file has created. Okay. This file is nothing but the image of your process where it where it is dumped all those data like when it got corrupted what was the image of your process okay so it creates this image so that you can just simply debug through this if you will see this uh, image you won't be able to understand anything like see this is totally not readable code but there is a way this GDB will help you with that okay so GDB a dot out your executable name and this core name. And you will hit enter, enter, and then simply run this. Oh, sorry, I just forgot to compile. You need to compile with G plus plus minus G option. Then only this will show you where this program is failing. Okay. So in order to get the proper line where the segmentation fault is coming, you need to compile this with this G option. I forgot that, so that's why it was not showing. Okay. So now if you will see again, it is telling you the code dump file is created. Now we will g do this gdb a dot out and core and the enter and you just hit the run button here it is telling you at this line we are failing okay 15 number in app.cpp let's suppose you are having uh, 10,000 files then it will tell you that which file is is responsible for your segmentation fault with the line number okay so here you are dereferencing this null that's why it is causing you the segmentation fault and this GDB has directly tell you that where is the problem. So this is how we debug the segmentation fault. Okay. This is, uh, you can tell uh, the problem is you are accessing some area which you are not allowed to access. Okay. This null, you not you cannot access a null. Okay. But uh, as I told you that uh, there is a problem with uh, stack overflow also. To get that error, we can just simply call ourselves. Okay. So in order to get that, we can simply call ourselves so i'll just compile this code again okay like gdb and we will try to run this it will tell you the same error segmentation fault has come because your main is calling itself again and again and again and sometime it is going out of memory so it is telling you segmentation fault okay actually if you guys don't know how this uh, recursion work whenever you call some function some stack is created and to maintain that stack information you need to have some extra information like stack number or something okay so that is also taking so much of memory so in that case when you create lots of stacks you go out of memory okay so this is what happening in here so you're going out of memory that's why this segmentation fault is coming because somewhere someone is trying to increment some variable and trying to access some memory which is not there okay so that's why this segmentation fault is coming but you always try to remember all the time everything is related to the memory only okay so we will try to debug this also i will just do the gdb our executable and the code and you just simply hit the run button it will tell you 
you are getting fragmentation fault at this line at 14th line so you can verify it here okay so i think i'm done here thanks for watching bye bye